Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Russian Fishing 4, and I am so stoked, guys, because I, now that I've got this spin fishing rod and I'm getting these controls down finally, I'm really having a hell of a good time. It really makes a major difference when you know what you're doing. But uh, the reason I am back here, I'm going to be kind of recording things as they happen, not one continuous session. So there might be a little bit of breaking up here, but it's almost night at this point, and there's not a whole lot that I can do as far as spin casting goes. But I did want to show you guys real quick here. Let me go ahead and check my inventory here. I don't know if you can see, but I now have the 257 silver. I was able to trade in some gold in order to get more silver. And I did add a couple of things. One of the things that I decided to add was an express fishing steel leader because that will keep the fish from uh, breaking through the line obviously I also bought this express fishing furry T04 let me go back to that again and let me tell you something man this this one I paid a little bit more money for but it was it was worth it it was worth it because I managed to hook into a pike that weighed four kilograms now that's about 10 pounds and I'm sure that people have caught bigger ones but for seven pound test that was quite a fight let me tell you I fought that bugger for about 10 or 15 minutes I was not sure I was going to get him in but I was able to get him in because I had my new net <laughs> so I am ready to go on this guys and another thing too let me check here real quick I'll show you See, we also purchased this. I got myself a shovel. So, we're going to be able to go and dig for worms. Awesome stuff here, guys. Now, I'll be honest. I don't know exactly how to use this thing. I think, there we go. But I figured since it was dark, I might go ahead and give this a try here and see if I can't find anything. Okay, nothing so far. Alright, let's come over here. Where, If I was a worm, where would I hang out? Uh, if I was a worm, I'd hang out in here. Look at this. See all this detritus? Detris, detris, I can't say it. Detritus. Hmm. I think what that's doing is building my skill, but I haven't found a worm yet. Oh, come on. I want a worm. There we go. We got us a worm. Alright, let's try over here a little bit. Get a new spot. Yeah, from what I've been told, this will wear you out pretty darn fast. But it's free bait. The better you get it, the more worms you'll find. Well, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, see my energy level going down a bit. Yeah, I figure I might do this for a little while. And there we go. We got us another one. And every time we get one, that makes our worm finding ability go up. Ooh, I got another one. Guess I can't dig there. Well, I must mean that I'm tired or something. I don't know. So 
the only thing I can figure. All right, we've got some worms. I'm going to come over here. I think I can eat some food. Yeah, see that got my energy level back up. So not bad. Did a couple of cool things. Got some worms. But I was fishing for those guys right out here. That's where I caught them, guys. It's pretty damned awesome. That was one big old pike. And that's not the only pike I caught. That was just the biggest pike I caught. So, the pike are here, and they're waiting. They are waiting for me. But I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do some fishing over here. I'm going to be recording, but I'm only going to keep things that seem a little on the interesting side. So... Unless something... What the heck? What the heck's all that stuff? That's weird. So if something interesting happens, I will bring you back and show you the action. I'll be back, guys. Alright, guys. I decided to come over here and do a little bit of fishing over on this end of things. I fished over there for quite a little while and really just wasn't getting much luck. And it might be just the this isn't the peak. Maybe they're not there, but I tell you, it's just like we've said, you know, you gotta really try things out, do a little experimenting. See where the fish are. I mean it's it is a sunny day, so these guys are going to be near all types of the, this type of cover, and I thought the lily pads might be a better place to try. So I'm going to probably be moving up and down along here just to see if there's anything ar around here that is interested in any of this. So there we go. All right, now we need to get our drag up a little bit, not too much. So I have to play around with that. He is running with it. Look at it. Check it out. Ah, he got off. Well, it happens. All right, guys. I am back here at the Curved River. I uh, decided to come here because I thought I might try some spots that I had tried before but one thing guys I wanted to show you I just purchased this uh, this is a feeder rod the Express Fishing Sorrento and I'm gonna give this a little bit of a try as well I've, I've tested it out a little bit but haven't caught anything off of it yet but you know it is bottom fishing and it is something that I do enjoy to do and I, I can kinda throw this out and fish while I'm doing a little bait casting so of course that always opens myself up to be catching something <laughs> and then ding -a ling -a ling -a ling it goes off anyway I think I'm gonna come over here to the front of the map yeah there's a little campground over here I don't know I wish my mouse would show up out here but at the bend of the top bend of the river I don't know if you can see that little triangle. That is a campground, and you can light a fire, and it's got a nice little beach. So that'd be a good place to set up my feeder rod. So I think we're going to head over there, unless I see something that looks like an interesting place to fish from. All right, guys, I do apologize, but my dogs are getting into their barking phase here. Might have to stop. Well, yeah, my I've got my daughter coming in and out here, so the dogs may bark from occasion. I do apologize for that, but I was trying over here and at the top. I wasn't having a whole lot of luck, but 
And I also did some fishing over at the campground. But I've been walking all the way down here and I, I noticed that there's a like an interesting little alcove over there and here's a nice little rock to stand on. Thought I might give this place a shot. Yeah, that's the thing with this game, guys. This game is not about catching fish. It's about fishing. And I'll tell you honestly, there's a lot of time when I'm sitting here fishing and I'm not catching a darn thing. Now, is that realistic? <laughs> well, hell yeah. I mean, you don't always catch fish, guys. Sometimes the fish move, and that's what happens in this game. The fish move. And I think a lot of people who are playing this game are under the conception that if I fish at a certain time with a certain lure, I'm going to catch this kind of fish. And that's not going to be the case. It's going to be different every time. You might come out here, fish right here, and pull one fish after another. You might come same, you know, same type of environment, same type of day, using the same lures and everything, and not catch a thing. That is real life, guys. You just have to increase the odds that they're there. Obviously, if you've got cover like over there where those stick-up stick-ups are, not that I can say it, more most likely there's going to be fish there. But that doesn't mean that there are, and that doesn't mean that there aren't, and they're just not biting. But right now, it looks like they're biting. Okay, that's good. Now, whatever it is, it's not huge. See what we got here, guys. Ah, nice little chub. And I try to do a lot of mixing up of the lures. If I get tired of using one, I'll switch over to another, see if that works. This is what people do when they really fish, guys. I mean, seriously. You're not going to go out to your favorite lake, and if you go there at 5 o'clock, you're sure to catch a trophy bass. You may not catch a darn thing. I mean, you might go there and you might catch a trophy bass. You may catch a little bitty bass. You may catch a catfish. I mean, it's... That is real life. And that's why I like this game so much, because... There we go. I think it's a perch. Yep, little bitty guy. He's almost bait. Anyway, <laughs> he's almost bait. I like it because it feels like I'm fishing. I can't predict what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. It's a surprise every time. I don't know if I got something on here or not. It's, yeah, I think I do. It's not very big, but it's probably another perch. Yep. A little, lot bigger than the last one, trust me, but... This looks like this might be where they have moved to. Yeah, the last place I've been fishing... There we got another one. Damn. They do move around. They really do. That's a tiny one. I've been getting a lot of sunny days, and it seems like they do hang around these stick-ups a lot more when it's sunny. I guess because of the heat. Kind of hide out in the shade. But everything's different on a cloudy day. My dog was trying to get up on the bed, and he didn't quite make it. <laughs> Come here, Snoopy. Come here. Yeah, Snoopy's my little albino dachshund. He likes to be up here with me when I'm fishing. He's waiting for my daughter to come home. She went out with her fiance and they are 
shopping as far as I understand. I'm not sure what they're shopping for, but they're shopping. Actually, I think that's them now. <laughs> Sorry guys. Snoopy gets a little, little rambunctious. Hold on, guys. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I had to go ahead and put him out, out in the living room, so you didn't keep that up. Dogs will be dogs. Yeah, you can sit here and do a little bit of a stop and go, or you can just kind of do a slow reel. It's just whatever your preference is. I've been catching them just by reeling them in slow. I've been catching them with a the stop and go. Doesn't seem to be anything in particular. But they seem to be biting over here pretty good. I think I'm going to try a little bit further over this way this time. Might be using the same path too much. Come on. I know there's something in those weeds. Hoping they didn't quit on me. Yeah, I was hoping I'd lay into a pike while I'm doing this, but I haven't found one yet. They are here, though. It is kind of kind of early in the day, though. I mean, they tend to bite a little more later in the evening. All right, haven't had a whole lot of biting going on lately. So I've had to cut out quite a bit of footage, so you're not just sitting there watching me twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> that's that's fishing, guys. There we go. He was right there at the last minute. I almost had that lure in. Yeah, they should start picking up a little bit more now that it's getting. It's about three. 21 is that what I'm seeing yeah I know that's military time basically you just subtract 12 from it and that'll give you your time I'm just kind of dragging it along just to see what happens and yeah, one time I did this <laughs> and a damn fish grabbed it so, thought I'd play a little bit there. You yeah, don't be afraid to experiment, guys. I mean, you know, it sounds ridiculous, but no. I mean, you can pull fish out. It's, it's like, sort of like jigging, I guess. Alright. I think I'm going to move up a little bit. They have really slacked off on the biting, so I think I might get a little bit more into the, the brush here. But right up in those stick-ups. See that tree that's kind of sitting across the, across the river? It's also cover as well, and it's providing shade. And then, of course, we've got the duckweed. If you don't know what duckweed is, that's that algae looking stuff in front of me. Yeah, it forms like a mat. That's a nice bunch of coverage for some fish. There we go. 
Got us another perch. Ooh, he's a fat bugger. Nice fat perch. I like nice fat perches. Need some good eating. There we go. All right. This this is this is a healthier fish. Let's see what he is. He didn't have too much of a fight in him. So he's not a pike. Huh? Oh, I'm surprised. He's little. Just a scrappy little guy, I guess. <laughs> Got some scrap to him. Oh, every now and then. Yeah, I think I do have another one. Damn. Looks like I have hit the mother load, guys. It's perch load. The mother perch load, I guess. Something like that. Yeah, when you start pulling them in, your best bet's just to keep doing what you're doing. I mean, keep bringing them in. Take advantage of your luck. I seem to be going for that when I drag it right in front of the duckweed, so I'm going to keep doing that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, we didn't get anything on that cast. Come on. I know you don't get them on every cast, but... There we go. Another perch. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I understand that there... There we go. Ooh. What have we got here? Come on. Oh, okay. Whew. Thought I lost him. Nothing sucks more than you fight a fish for a while and that sucker gets off the line. I think that's a chub. Yep, it's a chub. I saw that silver. Yeah, it's my understanding there are Xander here. And there's, I believe... Delacoba said he caught a catfish, too. I think he caught it doing that thing he called skittering. Or what we used to call bottom bouncing. Alright. They have been eluding me for a little bit here. I'm kind of concerned that maybe... I have ran the gamut here. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep fishing, though, until it gets dark. Just to be sure. Alright. Yeah, it's getting... It's going to start getting dark here soon. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to to do this <laughs> yeah bait casting's kinda kinda hard to do in the dark so we'll probably have to revert to feeder only and float fishing but that's a good time to catch some carp good time to catch some chubs It'd be better if it was cloudy, though. Might 
take the time to put together some of those bait balls. Let's see if I can attract some carp that way. But this is not going to be the place for it. I honestly haven't tried to use bait balls in flowing streams, but logically it would probably not work very well. I think I'm going to go ahead and head back real quick. A little worried about these fish. I've been here for such a while. I'm afraid they're going to spoil. Just check it out. Look at all of them. Yeah, earlier I did lay into a small a small pike. I got a little bit for it. Not too bad. Anyway, I guess I'll go on. There we go. I was just bringing you guys back. I came back to this spot. It just got night, and the last, the last light. I think I've laid into a pike, guys. I didn't get to film the last one, so this is. This will show you just how much these guys fight. This is probably not even a big one either. But they just really pull your line out. It's just amazing. Oh, Snoopy. <laughs> My daughter's out there and he wants to go out there and see her. And I just let him in. <laughs> can't do that right now dude yeah, it's getting a little dark I am gonna get this fish in you're just gonna have to deal Wow okay see me making a little bit of headway here but he is taking out so much line that this is gonna take me a minute Got him. Here he comes. Let's get our little net out. Hopefully, I can do this right. There we go. Not bad. He's not huge, but I mean, what, maybe about three pounds roughly? Not too bad, guys. Not a bad night of fishing. Not bad at all. Let's head on back. Yeah, this is the campsite I was talking about. See, so you got... I don't know if any of these things are going to be available later on, but here's that feeder rod I had set out. I'm just going to check it, see if there's anything on it. I've got corn on it. I don't think I got anything. I just thought I might throw it in there and come back and check it and see if there's anything on it. Now, I wasn't really in an area where I could use it, but... Anyway, that was a good day of fishing. I got quite a bit. I better head back and take this pike back in. Yeah, you don't want these guys to spoil. They won't be worth as much, but... Yeah, this is what I caught before the pike. Uh, that was that first one. I had caught a pike earlier. And I caught a... Looks like a roach. Another perch. That wasn't too bad, guys. Hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll be back. Bye-bye.